Well, we have new details tonight after a destructive tornado swept through parts of Metro Atlanta last week. Take a look at this map on your screen. It shows the five counties where the National Weather Service has confirmed tornadoes the strongest in EF3 confirmed in Spalding County. That stretch of storms is blamed for the deaths of an adult and a child. And tonight, thousands of people are left picking up the pieces of their lives as the long road to recovery gets underway. Tracy A. McPeer joining us now live from Spalding County where officials just spoke in the last two hours. So Tracy, how do they hope to help the families who have been impacted here? Well, they have different resources out there right now. They have two different Red Cross shelters set up. They also have hotlines for people to call. And we just learned that FEMA is on the ground right now assessing the damage, which could determine how much federal help this area gets. Of course, this area is one where right now many residents have nowhere to sleep tonight after losing their homes. You can see his weight bench in there is twisted. That's black rails coming down. That's his bed. That's their bathroom right behind it. This afternoon, Beth Manessis showed us her son's bedrooms inside their destroyed home at Pine Glen and Griffin. We've got school starting up and I have no place to go. Most of her neighbors have cleared out since the tornado touched down Thursday, damaging many homes. Even as crews work to remove trees and clear roads, Manessis says it's getting worse. Over the past few days, we've had more trees that have fallen. We've had more devastation. Houses that didn't look like they were crumbling are now crumbling. Tonight, she's uncertain of where her family will go next, with even their car destroyed. It's a very mangled mass on the inside. It's a total wreck and disaster. Everything is soaked also with rain, making everything even further unstable. Now, as far as school goes, the district will announce later in the week when the students will return. They said that more than 400 students' families were displaced by the storm. Now, of course, there are two hotlines that have been set up, one for food and shelter, the other for mental health help. You can find those numbers on our website, 11alive.com.